Walking to check their mailboxes like any other day, residents in one Willowbrook area neighborhood were angry to see someone beat them to it. And they were, they just left them open afterwards? Yeah, I think they didn't know how to close them. Residents say the entire cluster of mailboxes was left open and a lot was missing. Some aren't even sure what was taken. I know what I lost, but if you were a resident, you wouldn't know until you do an inventory of what you lost. Mal, who asked us not to use his last name, says he started getting fraudulent charges at multiple gas stations across the area. That's when he learned a gas card had been taken from his mailbox and used several times before he caught on. I'm sure I'm not the only one out of 90 people. There's probably another credit card that's been taken. But it wasn't over. After the first mailbox break in late last week on Monday, they say it happened again. There's no damage on the boxes, leading residents to believe the culprit is either an expert lock picker or, worse yet, they somehow have a key. The postal inspector's office tells us they look into all of the reports filed and the perpetrator could face up to five years in prison. But that's, of course, only if they're caught. Mal says so far surveillance video hasn't shown anything and neighbors are continuing to file reports with the Postal Service. Going through and trying to figure out what might be gone and what could be done with it is pretty frustrating. Now, it's the postal inspectors who look at these crimes, not local police, but that's changing in Texas on September 1st. A new law will go into effect that could make it a state crime as well as a federal offense.